The Rotary Foundation was created over 100 years ago, and during this time, it has spent over $4 billion. Can you imagine that number? $4 billion with the B dollars on life-changing, sustainable projects that have changed communities all around the world. The mission of the Rotary Foundation is to enable Rotarians to advance world understanding, goodwill, and peace through the improvement of health, the support of education, and the alleviation of poverty. Please help us welcome There's Mr. <laughs> Carter. So hello, Mr. Carter. Mr. Well, John Carter. He is the past district governor. Of, uh, he continues to serve the district as a district foundation chair and his club, the Rotary Club of Sherwood. Thank you. I have some slides that were prepared and I just kind of want to talk about these. I'm going to give you a brief, very brief overview of what the foundation is. The uh, Rotary Foundation has several many, many programs and Polio Plus, Rotary Peace Centers, district grants, and global grants are just a few of them. I want you to notice on the right, there is four stars. It says Charity Navigator, and that is a firm that sole business is to rate charities, and they rate them on how good a job they do in the transparency. Four stars is their highest rating, and Rotary Foundation was just awarded two months ago, I believe, the four-star rating for the 12th year in a row. And below that, you see a figure of 92%, and that represents the amount of money out of your dollar that goes to a project. So 92 cents out of every dollar you give goes to a project. And I will challenge you to find a charity that does a better job. These are just different things about the foundation. So many of you have heard of EREY, which stands obviously for every Rotarian every year. And that again is just a Rotarian that gives something every year to the foundation, whether it's a dollar or a thousand dollars, they give something every year. A sustaining member is someone who gives annually at least a hundred dollars a year. Now our district goal is that every club have a hundred dollars per capita every year. And below that, in the, the end of May, which won't be the final numbers, there were five clubs that have already done that. And you can see them listed there. Pam was talking about polio. I know Mike's gonna get on in a minute and tell his personal story, but you know, we've been fighting polio for over 30 years. It's our number one objective in Rotary. And about, oh, in 14, I believe, uh, we started having a world polio day. And that's October 24th every year. And it just is simply a day that we recognize as Rotarians and hopefully in our clubs to think about polio, to have polio programs, to have fundraisers, to make polio aware in our own community. Uh, you can see that last figure that uh, I think that's, does it give the year? I'm sorry. In 14, in one year, we did over $209,000 on that day. Uh, this is Rodeo Club of Sherwood. We had a program about rodeo, uh, rodeo, about polio, and then we did a purple finger, finger painting at the end of the meeting. Uh, the Rotary Club of Batesville had a showing of a movie called Breathe, which is about a polio survivor, and uh, to make the club and the community aware of about polio. And that's another picture of Batesville. You can see the people in the in the seats and then they had a booth outside the in the lobby order club at jonesboro they actually had the asu clock tower lit up in purple to give recognition about polio to the whole community and again at their club meeting they painted their pinkies purple so again the world polio day is about one day and one focus to end polio uh the rotary club of blyville had a uh, doctor talk about the polio virus and then they had a polio survivor talk to the club we also, you know, that we recognize people that give to the uh, foundation. And a Paul Harris fella is someone that uh, has given $100 over their rotary career, and they become a Paul Harris fella. But the Paul Harris Society is made up of members that have actually pledged to give $1,000 a year. And we have now had over 72 people in our own district that have made that commitment. That is, there is Greg Marler presenting a Paul Harris Society certificate to one of his members. 
this is amazing. Uh, the Rotary Club of Jonesboro during the year inducted 71 new Paul Harris fellows and at that time became a 100% Paul Harris fellow club. That is a very difficult and unique designation. That means every member in the club at that time is a Paul Harris fellow. And I believe that makes them the fourth club to do that. And uh, Hughes also did the same thing with the Club, Rotary club Hughes this year. When you have a Rotary Club fellow in your club, make a presentation out of it. Stand them up, recognize them, and thank them. They've made a commitment to the foundation. Now, every year for the last, I don't know, several years, we have had an annual foundation banquet that has been held in Little Rock. We have a great speaker, usually a Rotary speaker. Uh, members from all over the district gather. It's a great event. It's a nice event where we can see our friends and see good speakers and, and meet unique people. Our speaker last year was Julia Phelps, and she is a Rotary Foundation trustee or past now. Uh, a very pleasant person. We got to know her over a course of about three days, and I now consider her a friend. But we learned when Julia was here that she's actually a native of Arkansas, grew up here, and then came back to Fayetteville to graduate U of A. So uh, we've heard her called the Hogs before. And you can just these are just tables that uh, clubs have, that paid it at, at the foundation. They're just snapshots of that. Uh, this is a QR code. You take your phone and hold it up to it. It'll take you right to the rotary.org donate. So you can do it right now on your phone. And quite honestly, we could use your help. Uh, my attempts at raising money for the foundation came to a stop basically in March. I just didn't feel right about going out and asking people for money in that during those times. Uh, when we're all dealing with COVID right now, but we could really use your help. Uh, <clears throat> This is simply a contact list. The people, I am the foundation chair. Dana Holmes is in charge of district grants and Darlene Andrews works with her. Dr. Jennifer Dillahay is our Polio Plus chair and she is willing to go to any club and speak to them about polio. Now she is a little busy with COVID right now. I don't know how, what her schedule looks like. Uh, and Dr. Bob Warner is in charge of our international grant. If you have any question about Rotary, you can check, you can click on any one of those, choose any one of those people, or just contact me with anything you may want to know. Uh, 